Oh, no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir! General? Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! this panel. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. General, you read. Comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavin Command. Let me know when you've got them. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Now Shepard out. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavin Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. 
Lieutenant. Good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tetris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Primark. Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place the you saw Victus. The big That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five to seven. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. 
But how long did it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. 
Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. This sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch. But Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. You do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah, yeah, I just had to check. Well, if you see Shepard, tell her to get over to the AI core and figure this out. Will do. You heard him, Shepard. We're dead in the water. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive, and he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along? We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? 
I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After the Collector base, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie, play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Fire extinguisher, Commander. Give me an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. 
So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Mm -hmm.